in the city where he made his name, at the stadium where he became a legend. One final appearance for Sir Bobby Charlton. At Old Trafford, under the memorial to those young teammates lost in the disaster in Munich that he survived to become perhaps the greatest in English football history. Across to Bobby Charlton, another great goal. A World Cup winner whose name became a byword for excellence and integrity. And for fans, this was the passing of a generation. He was one of the best. The best, he was warm, he was friendly, because he talked to him when he talked to you. It wasn't like stuck up or anything. So Matt Busby passing, George Best, all the greats passing. And, you know, for me, this is now... It's the last candles just gone out. The procession through Manchester was a chance for this city to say goodbye. To Manchester Cathedral, for Sir Bobby's family, the private grief of loss shared with the world. The great names of football and the world beyond paying their respects. To hear him described as a superstar who remained a gentleman, football's best and most revered ambassador. He's one of those people that is synonymous with the, with the word football. Um, you could go around the world. I remember as a, as a young man, you'd travel anywhere and, and, and you could go to places where no one spoke a word of English, but they knew too. I just wonder what you made of that service. It was sombre, it was wonderful. I think his grandson did a fantastic job at that age. When we got there and speaking with such uh, uh, beautiful words and, and able to put it all over the right way, it was fantastic. They'd heard him described as a man cherished in this city and around the world. A city, a sport, a country. Saying goodbye and thank you. Greg Milam, Sky News, Manchester.